Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make the Game Pass button that we made in the previous video into a times 2 speed Game Pass. So first of all, you want to go to Service Script Service, click the little drop down, and add a script. We're going to rename this script to times 2 and in here you're going to type this or paste it from the paste bin which I'm going to leave in the description and you want to put in local ID equals I'm going to put zero right now because I don't know what it is local speed equals 32 game get service marketplace service dot prompt game pass purchase finished connect function and then inside the bracket you want to put plr i do and purchased then you want to go down and put in if purchased and i do equals equals id then plr dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals speed then you want to go down and create a new function which will be game dot players dot player added connect function plr then right underneath this you want to put game well actually no you want to put in plr dot character added connect function car then in here you want to put in if game get service marketplace service user owns game pass async game dot players and then square brackets car dot name And then outside of the square bracket, you want to put dot user ID, ID, and then outside of the brackets, you want to put or plr dot user ID equals equals, and this will be your player ID, your user ID. So I don't know mine currently, so I'm going to put low zero again, and put then, whoops, then car dot humanoid dot walk speed equals speed this should be done and what I want to do is I'm going to find the ID of the game pass and the ID of my player so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Chrome once I'm in Chrome I'm going to go type around Roblox click create Go to the tutorial or any game that you're currently working up working on click on places click on the, the place which you're currently editing click on store and you should see your game pass click on your game pass and up here you should see a, a series of numbers you want to copy that you want to go back to your script and paste that here then you want to go to your um, uh, script again and what you want to do is you want to go back to your chrome you go to profile and up here will be another series of numbers which will be your user id copy that and paste it in here now my apologies but there should actually be a capital s here so what walk speed with a capital S and now if we click play we should be in and when we walk around you should notice that we are walking two times faster than you normally would now if we click menu and we have the buy button right but we already own it see because the game's actually given it to us because we put our user ID in the script but if we put stop and for testing purposes, I'm going to change this from my ID 
to a series of zeros. And when we join the game now, I no longer have the time to speed. Now what I can do is going to go menu, click the buy button, and there we go. This is just a test pur purchase so it won't actually charge you Robux. You can click the 15 or whatever it is, click OK, click close, and you should notice that you now have two times speed. Now I think that will be it for today's video, if this did help you in any way or you did learn anything, please leave a like and subscribe, and as always, bye.